Center consoles are a great multifunction boat. If you're looking for a boat for the cottage or for one that you can trailer to wherever you want to go play, you might want to consider a center console. Particularly look at one like the one we're going to have a close look at today, which is an Edgewater 170cc with great power package back here, an F-115 Yamaha. Gives you lots of power to get out on the lake, got a great platform for fishing, and if you want to do some tow sports with the family, that's certainly in the future as well. Center consoles make wonderful multi-use boats. Their spacious layout and simplicity and low maintenance make these great family boats. But don't confuse simplicity with a lack of features. Edgewater doesn't. Opt for the basic 170cc and you get a day boat that can handle six for fishing and cruising. Seating aft is a pair of jump seats with backrests with storage lockers in the bases. The helm seat has a multi-position adjustable backrest that can serve as a leaning post. The base has a large locker for gear. Forward of the console, a 54-quart cooler serves as the seat base with the same high-quality 34-ounce marine-grade vinyl cushions and backrest. The console is equipped with hydraulic steering with a tilt stainless wheel and standard Yamaha gauges with tack and digital speedo with fuel, trip, time, volts, and low fuel and voltage alarms. The standard compass is nice and space remains for stereo and electronics options. A bank of waterproof switches and circuit breakers take care of the bilge pump, LED navigation and courtesy lighting, plus accessories. The console serves as a large lockable locker with interior lighting. Blasting along, both the captain and mate will appreciate the tall acrylic windscreen and stainless grab bar. The bow is fitted with a welded stainless steel rail. Cleats are 8 inch and through bolted. At the transom are two rod holders and a swim platform with ladder. For more features, pick some options like various colored canvas and tops and covers, as well as gel coat colors for the hull. The family will have fun with the optional ski pylon and enjoy the bow cushion that snaps onto the bow casting platform over a large locker live well. Fishing options are available as well. The big option will be power. Will that be a Yamaha F90 or an F115? The hull is hand laid fiberglass reinforced with composite coring and the hull voids are injected with closed cell PVC foam for full level flotation. Getting underway, the Yamaha F-115 seemed like the right choice for experienced boaters. The edge water was up on plane quickly, bow down and gaining speed. Even with the Bimini top deployed, we topped out at 41.6 miles per hour. The variable dead rise deep V hull ran smoothly and dry even in the wind induced chop and wakes we created. The reverse chines proved to not only enhance stability at rest, but also underway at speed and in turns. Handling was precise, predictable in sweeping turns and tight turns. Dialing back the testing aggressiveness, the 170cc's hull design and Yamaha power will cruise for hours and some serious miles at an efficient 3500 RPM.